Hello and welcome to the St Kilda and Bayside Report. We are wrapping up May 2020. I'm Gary Peer. I'm Jeremy Rosens. You are here indeed. And how yeah. things are changing. The sun's starting to kind of shine through it's the clouds. Scary. A little bit of the whole COVID story, isn't it? Things are getting better. Victoria's doing well. Dan the Man Andrews, he's looking after us. He would like he'd to be called like Dan to, the Man. He'd like to be called Dan the Man. He'd like to be known as the Premier's looking after us. Not the one that's uh, been do, criticised. Where do you think you know, he's ranking? Hurting the economy. How many Premiers have we got? Um, Six, yeah, well, he's been, I think he's been 10 is he, years is he or something. There? Is he's he up been there in terms of where he's, the sentiment is? Because the woman in Queensland, they're very yep. scathing of her. Yeah, but they it depends on who you watch. Bit... You know, if, you, if you watch one, you know, if you read the Herald, they're saying Dan and the I thought the, the Herald woman, just had pictures. It has, it? no, well, mostly, yeah, but they, they say we're ruining the economy, people. And then you read the age and they're going, they're protecting people. They're being so fantastically compassionate and sensible. So it depends well, on where you want to get your lie, news from. Gary. You cannot argue that Victoria yep. is doing very, very well, notwithstanding that he's um, doing well in terms of, in terms of the numbers yeah. of people that are uh, being saved. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, saved. And uh, how about ScoMo? I reckon he's pretty popular now, isn't he? You've got to say that, you know, because as soon as he came out with the whole... As well, soon as he, he wasn't in Hawaii you know while what? it broke well, out, so that's was one Hawaii, good thing. And the second he came out and he sold people to stop it, when he came out and he was very forceful, Jeremy, I think that got people's attention. They thought, tell you what, he's what, tough, he's a tough what's guy. What's big news with Frydenberg is he yeah. went to go, he put on a pair of jeans that he hasn't worn in a while, he went yeah. to the back pocket mm. and he found $60 billion in the back pocket. How good is that? You know, I'm going to try on a few more of my clothes because oh, I've got to say that. Brilliant. I wouldn't mind finding an odd lost $60 billion somewhere as well. No, uh, found. Yeah. He found $60 yeah, billion. It's saying, like my yeah. wife, she thinks when she finds money in a jacket, it's... it's, it's it's, yeah, it's, it's, I think you put it there. Exactly so it's yours right. anyway. Exactly right. Well, anyway. my, my, my wife finds money in her jacket. I say that's great, but there was a lot more there when it started. Yes. Uh, anyway, it's a whole other story. Yes. Uh, Mr. Rose, Let's talk about real estate. Can Gary? we talk a bit about property because uh, it's feeling a lot more, I think, active, positive, uh, positive, yes, active. Uh, there's it, people are more engaged. There's more people coming out. They're allowed to come out. So it's kind of like people are just sort of climbing out of this real estate slumber, slumber now. Yes. And they're wakening up, even though it's coming into a slumberous kind of time year in, year out, because June, July are quiet months. Uh, there's people out there. No lack of people who want to buy property now. Most definitely. And uh, perfectly put, Gary, I think if you were to chart your mental state or people's mental state yep. through this COVID-19 outbreak. Yep. In the beginning, buyers were a bit scattered and didn't know what yep. to do, as were as was yeah. everybody else. And sellers. And as some of these things are, uh, yeah. are, are kind of, uh, you know, we're able to open up borders and we're able to have more people that opens, uh, people have literally crawled from their rocks yep. and are starting to appear. The streets are busier. Kids are going back to school. We've gone from ten pe no auctions to 10 people. Your kids back to school today? Uh, they're not back to school right. today because right. they're in the middle of the school years, not the, I think it's the juniors and the seniors, but they're going okay. back next week or in two weeks. Good. How's that going to be? Uh, they're looking forward to it. I can tell yeah. who's really looking forward to it. <laughs> My wife and bet. I are very looking forward I'll to bet. getting them out of the house. Uh, now, there are people who are wanting to uh, know, know what's going on in the real estate world. Yes. They want to know what's getting sold. They want to know what's hot, well, what's not hot. It was a bad hot. month last month, uh, Gary. Not bad at all. Or this month, I should uh, say. Not bad at all. May. I mean, May is usually a thumper month. It was it certainly wasn't a thumper month. Yes. Uh, volume well down. No. Agents doing it tough with yes. volume. Uh, but for buyers and sellers, what are the messages? Well, the messages are that if you want to sell, there are buyers around. If you want to buy, not so many sellers around. Correct. That's the truth, isn't it? The for, supply and um, demand there. curve, Jeremy, Gary, is one of the... you feel. Oh, that would have been... I don't Can know if you ever would forgive me for that. I wouldn't have forgiven you. Sorry, but I'll tell you who wouldn't have forgiven... Well, I'm very forgiving. Yeah. And I'm okay to be called Phil because yeah. I'm not him. Yeah. But if you called Phil Jeremy... Jeremy yeah, yeah. That'd be the end of your life. I thought I could say you think so? It would be the end I've of it. I've called him a Nothing lot Nothing could be more I demeaning oh, no, don't be to like him. No. Oh, listen, we <laughs> sat in an elevator one year and the woman said to, because Philip was by me, and she goes, it's lovely. You guys have got such a good relationship, father and son. Oh, he wouldn't have liked <laughs> he that. He didn't like yeah. it at all. That woman, uh, she, she would have definitely uh, had a very And rocky... I was offended because she uh, yeah. was suggesting that I had a tinge of red in my hair, which that's was, right. that's like a... A red flag to a bull. Is that so right? Yeah, Fair enough. Enough. Let's well, talk about lost, some sales. We've lost we all, the, uh, all the beautiful redhead I viewers. I love redhead people. Uh, Shall we talk about some of the sales? Um, <laughs> Let's talk about the Valtier very... Street. Valtier, Valtier Street. Valtier, Gary. Valtier. Not oh, Valtier. Valtier Street. Uh, Elwood. I know it's Valtier Street. Uh, but that was sold. Uh, it was undisclosed. But it's the undisclosed. price range was in the... Mid five to six, and let's just say it's sold for more than God that. God knows why we're uh, undisclosing so a two-bedroom apartment. I don't apartment. know Gary why. There's so absurd. many stupid. Let understand. the people know. know. Let the people know. It all goes on record before five minutes it settles, and then everybody's running around with the data anyway. Can so we what's just the difference? send a message to the well, vendors out there and yeah. the buyers that 
It's all going to be yeah. public knowledge it's shortly. It's not and such a celebrate big deal. Your victory. Yeah. Yeah. Celebrate yeah. your victory. You bought something. Yay. You sold something. Yay. Don't worry yeah. about it. Don't get so upset. And I concerned. agree with you, Gary. Thanks. I'm glad. We often don't always agree, but we no. do on that. Uh, Los yeah. Angeles Court. Now, what a fine address. A disclosed sale, a thankfully. A disclosed sale. And uh, this is hot real estate, Gary. $2,251,000. I reckon that was a beautiful property to buy. Fantastic a, uh, investment. A, uh, so many yeah. opportunities, Was it Gary. an investor that bought it? Uh, couldn't tell you that. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Good that you're on top of the game. Yes. Let's move on to uh, Alma Road, Jeremy, because there's an apartment Alma there Road. sold. Oh, an undisclosed apartment. But sea view, Gary, uh, that one, the block's called because, that right? would you believe it? It's got views of the sea. Really? That one. Is that right? There you go. Sold around the mid fives, I think it's fair to say, yeah, Gary. Is that correct? Sold, yes, it did. Five to five fish was a range sold within its range. I think yes, we're safe to top say of that. The range, Gary. Uh, another great sale in Westbury Street, nine at 66 Westbury Street. This is a good sale, uh, Gary. It is, but the price Can I tell you why it's a good sale? What was a range? Uh, in the sixes, Gary. Okay. No, it was actually so. There was no range because it was sold before it even got to the marketplace. Is that right? I'll tell you how this came about, Speedy, Gary. Speedy, Gonzalez. Have we got some time? Yeah, go on. The Carnegie office. I've got nothing else to do. Lists a two bedroom yeah. apartment in. We're going to have to get that phone. Are you Phones ready? are in. This is, this is terrible. Anyway, so Carnegie office lists a two bedroom apartment, gets a bit of help from Michael Jonas at the St Kilda office who finds yes. the buyer. Yes. Then, as a result of that fabulous sale, yes. someone in the Caulfield office rings somebody in that block and says, we've just made a great sale. Have you thought about selling? And that guy says, yeah, I'm thinking of selling. So the know. Caulfield office then rings the St Kilda office and says, you got any buyers for that property? Michael Jonas brings the buyer through and sells Bang. it. So other than the that is four, three offices working in harmony. So other than all the phone, the high phone bill that was registered through all of that, uh, sounds like there was some great success. I think you'll story. find there was a bit of profit still left in it. I think so, hopefully bill, so. Gary. Great story. And that's what you call offices working harmoniously together as well. More so than harmoniously, Gary. They're yep. working to the benefit of our clients, both yes. vendors and sellers. And, uh, the buyer. and buyers. Sorry. And the buyer. 105 at 109 Inkerman Street. Is that the, the post, post office, office Gary? Yes. Get your the mail. Post office. What is the late? What is the late mail on the post office sale? Well, that it's gone, Gary. It's okay. sold. Undisclosed sale, but uh, another another undisclosed two bedroom. Yeah, four sixty to five hundred five sold at the range. I like what a big secret right that is. Up toward the top end, uh, Gary. Three one six Inkerman. That was a great sale. Uh, sold again. The price. Uh, it was an asking price of one five ninety. So I don't know how Not secret far away. it can be, but Not anyway, far sold away. for something just around that price. Yes. Uh, lovely home. Now twelve Albion Street, Leo Samuel. Auctioned that last weekend. Uh, so this was can't a, keep him out of St Kilda. This was actually yep. taking the cobwebs off our auctions. I know it was. Well, and this yeah. was, would this be our first in yeah, what, probably six weeks? Six weeks or something. He so brought out his that, rusty gavel he, and went he, bang. He yep. did and he just had a bit of a throat lozenge. Yeah, he did. And off he went. We called that auction inside and uh, we had multiple bidders. And yeah. I think we can disclose the result there, yeah, Gary, because it sold for a whopping two million, two million one. and one. It was that $1,000 bid. Yep. That how sealed often it, the how deal. often it uh, gets people to their limits. And it tells people, if you're a buyer out there now watching, never come to an auction with a round number. Even if two million is your max, go to yeah. two million and two and a half or something. Good advice, Jeremy. Thank Priceless you. advice there. Uh, I've got to say also that there were six registered bidders for that. So wow. it's interesting. We've had a lot of action around that $2 million yep. price. Yep. I don't know why. I'll don't tell you why, me. Gary. Why? Okay. Um, have we had it in, in certain specific areas or are you just saying around... Caulfield all... North, East Brighton, uh, uh, East St Kilda. When the market is the way it is, it is yep. the time to look to upgrade, Gary. You think so? And $2 million is kind of that first upgrade Crazy for upgrade. people. Fair enough. Uh, Charmwood Road, two at 31 Charmwood Grove. Uh, Charmwood Road this time. Uh, okay, there's Grove that. and Road. Was, is yeah. that, uh, I reckon I sold that before auction. Yeah, you oh, did. I did uh, sell that before auction. $420,000 disclosed price. One bedroom, that, is it? One bedroom with a little courtyard garden that's there. A good, that's very a good happy price vendor, for one bedroom. Very happy yeah. buyer. Uh, congratulations. Now, we have some listings coming up. I think we should review them. It would only be right to do so. We should, Gary, and we should start here in Argyle Street, Gary, uh, in this refurb block, this one-bedroom apartment. One Good bed, looking. one bath, one car with a courtyard garden. Good looking. Are you talking about the agent or the property, Gary? Uh, could be talking both. about both. Uh, but that's a lovely sale, and uh, I'm sure you'll it's be a beautiful property. excited to get inquiry, as you would in the We've property. We've already Midford had strong inquiry, but talk about strong inquiry, Gary. Los Palmos is hey. the name of this block. You'll feel like you're away on oh, a uh, in Mexico, tropical Gary, or Mexico, in Mexico. Mexican nice holiday. Mexican holiday, yeah. Spanish mission yeah. feel about it. This is a great apartment, Gary. Fully renovated, two bedroom, two bathroom. Yep. Uh, ground elevated floor, this one. Moments from the beach, right in the heart of sunny Elwood. Hey. A stone's throw from Carlisle and Aquin. Beautiful property. Should sell in the eights. Go to the bank, get a Los Lonos, and get a beautiful property in wow. Los. What the is it? Hits Lo just keep coming. What's Los. good, Los what? Uh, Los. 
Palmos. Las Palmos. Sí. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, uh, senor, we have 40 Sebastopol Street. Uh, let the Battle of I'm Sebastopol... I'm going to grow a moustache for our next <laughs> I meeting, I think you should, Gary. exactly right. Let the Battle of Sebastopol begin because this Ooh. is a great-looking property. This is and I know luxurious that, living, uh, Gary. That Daniel Peer is very excited yes, about we've this. We've allowed him to cross the night. borders, Gary, yep. and come across 1.1 to 1.21. This is a beautiful Great real estate, property. Gary. It's, it's luxuriously light-filled. It's a tri-level home, Gary. Mm. And you should try it out because it's a beautiful property. Uh, and that one I know is uh, uh, Daniel and Leo, and I know that's a great property and it's going to get sold and it could get sold for auction. So could, as Gary. many of these are and can be. And hey, uh, Jim, last week, uh, 10 out of 10. Auction, 100% clearance rate. You're doing Pretty good. well, Gary. Pretty well. It's not me. You know, you're part of it. You're, I am you're, part you know, of it, you're Gary. Not, you're, not, you're not in the stalls watching the show. You're, in, you're actually on the stage performing. So, uh, right, yeah, well done uh, stop, to you and to stop all this our self-deprecating behaviour. Exactly right. You, you were, you, you were right. You were right. I'll leave Gary. it at that. Uh, Forty-three Balaclava Row. We've got some this beautiful apartments this here. This block is a and block it keeps that keeps giving, selling. keeps churning, and giving and churning. Sales. There's some confidence around this building. I'll tell you why, Gary, because yeah. it kind of fits in. A little bracket of price point a niche. That, it's a good that has niche. never really existed because no. you can buy off the plan those smaller apartments which are selling yeah. between sort of five and That's seven, right, yeah. and then you can go to sort of two High million end, for your pent. Yep. But if you get penthouse, I should say, yeah, no, we sit around a million understand. with that good. It's a great. It's an educated size viewer, yeah. Uh, no question block. about it. Good looking block. Amnon Weaver, architect. He does a great job Is if you're looking for an architect. I'm pretty sure oh, it is. Well done. Uh, hey, 72 Faulkner Street. What a funky pad this is. Gary, this is a. It's a Perfect part of St Kilda. Just it a is. stone's throw from the office Indeed. of St Kilda. But again, this is three levels. Multi-level, stylish inner city living, Gary, is the only way to describe it. And if you walk out your front door and turn left yep. and take a little bit of a stroll to the corner of Inkerman and yep. uh, Barclay Street, there's a very cool new cafe. So shout oh, out to yeah, those guys. have you been guys. there? I have had a coffee there. You can't sit down, Gary. I went, you can't I went sit down past anywhere. there with you. And do they, are there any food there or whatever? Uh, there's, you know, the, the odd be, panini. There used to be some odd... sort of... Um, some sort of second hand. Well, sort of it was kind shop. of yeah, but it had some sort of sex thing going. Like it was like a mistress, or you know, I don't know. It was some sort of bondage kind of. Am I the only person that knows I, I, about I, that? I think you may have okay. travelled to the other corner. I'm not sure what you're doing. No, get, there's something I didn't realise that you were into that sort of stuff. Something or, happening there. Uh, no, it was, it was, I think yeah. you are thinking that it's the bitch is back. Yeah, that's it. The bitch yes. is back. Well, that's second-hand furniture, yeah. not uh, S&M material. Oh, uh, okay. But anyway. Fair enough. Well, you, thank didn't, you for illuminating go, the viewers. You didn't go to the room in the back, clearly. I, I no, did, but, I didn't uh, make it through well, the was, front was door, Was that called Gary? the bitch, bitch yeah, is back? It was. And now it's just the coffee's back. Yes. The bitch has left? Yes. She's left the building. The bitch is the bitch. She could come back, Gary. She could. She could come your house now. The bitch is not back. She's gone. Jim, let's move on to Midford Street, 11 at 23 Midford. Uh, we'll wrap up with that. Now, this looks like a house. What's Just going on Just by the there? way, I don't know where you got the 11. I know you're getting older, and I don't know if it's Ten. the eyebrows that are I'm rolling over your eyes, but... Uh, 10 at 23 Midford Street. The good yep. news that I can say, Gary, is that since we... It looks like a house. What, what, is, what is that property? Just tell it, me what's well, going on. There's there. a house at the front that was subdivided right. into apartments and then the okay. developer built some apartments out the back. Okay. So but the reason why this yeah. is a bit timely is because this list is uh, at least a couple of days old. Yeah. Uh, because... It is, and that's now sold, Gary. Oh, well, that's sold yeah. five hundred ten thousand dollars. Okay, what well, a Michael Jonas. We don't need to talk about that anymore. Well, we that's don't. a big wrap uh, for this edition of the St Kilda and Bayside Report. The general vibe is positive. General vibe is it's very, good. very pleased to announce that as of June one, which is merely yeah. a few days away, yeah. we will have auction numbers ballooning out to yep. twenty. Absolutely. Open for inspection numbers ballooning out to twenty, yep. which has made uh, our job just that little bit easier. It also sends a little, little bit of confidence to the to the buying public and the selling public that it is game on now. Um, I think if you are going to be a seller within the next six months, you'd want to be fast forwarding that yes. and get going now because the undersupply that we are finding yeah, in the market fueling the market is holding it up it is. and fueling it. And who Indeed. knows what tomorrow brings. The surety of today is far greater than the uncertainty of tomorrow. Some Gary. words of wisdom from Mr. Sure, Rosen. I don't know if I would have ever. Bad, I don't know it? if I would have ever said that before in all yeah. of our working lives together. But and it's been a long time. Uh, but I like where you're coming from. Thank I you, like Gary. what you're saying there. And I like the property market in St Kilda and Bayside because we just love selling stuff there. Love listing it. Love selling Indeed, it. Gary. Love pleasing buyers, pleasing sellers, and being in the ruck and midst of what's going on in St Kilda and Bayside. Mr. Rosen, that's a big wrap on School and Bayside Report. A pleasure being with you, Gary. Look forward to seeing you next month. Indeed. Bye for now.